So round four, probably the toughest of all of the rounds coming up here. Once again, we are off the back tees. Wind's coming down a little bit, medium out of the south. And we are firm, firm, fast yet again. I expect pin four to be a very tough challenge. We've been strong on the front nine. Gotta get it out of my head that the back nine is gonna be tough and just go at it. But one hole at a time, one stroke at a time. Let's get after this thing. We've got a lot of work cut out if we want to even put ourselves into a position to potentially win. I don't, I really don't think we can. We're a few strokes back and uh, we'd have to do something absurd. We'd actually have to get like a, like a 20 under round or something dumb. It can happen. It can happen, you know. It's in the realm of thi all things that are possible in, in life, but uh... Aside from that. <laughs> All right, a little four iron action here. Up the hill. Pull it back there. One oh one, a little bit slow. Might go a little bit left. Okay, I was actually in the right mindset there to put some loft into it. As a great philosopher, Kevin Garnett said, Anything is possible! I never thought I'd be on a boat. It's a big blue watery road. Left to rider. I think left to rider? Maybe? Right to lefter? Right to lefter. That's what I meant to say, I think. Oh god, I'm getting conflicting. It has to be left to right, because we rolled we rolled a bit left to right, so. I'm gonna play this on a on a straighter line here, I think, at the start. But then by the end, we're going to high point it and roll it into the hole. Nope. Very, very straight. All right. Interesting. We get a we get a birdie there. Definitely a misread. I, I gotta, I guess trust my gut again on the like, or not trust my gut, but trust my old adage of if it looks like it's breaking from both directions on different camera angles, then hit it straighter. Obviously easier, easier said than done. There's no, pl we got, we got in some serious trouble driving it out into here. So we're gonna just, we're gonna take the hybrid. Go right down the, right down the fairway here. Get it to spit out just beyond the trees, hopefully. And oh god, this is like the one spot. Okay. Um. I foresee punch shot. You see punch shot. Um going up into the trees here a little bit and so that obviously concerns me could de loft it to try and get it under but i think it's gonna still end up into the tree so It's not bad. Hangs out way more to the left than I'm hoping. The one putt 24 hour pass? Dude, I could actually, well, the thing is, I would have to be the only one that could buy it. But I would definitely, uh, definitely score quite, quite a bit. 
Okay, we have to we have to go super far left for this and really expect this to like swing around and come down on an angle like way low. Although it flattens a little bit. No. That was tracking for so long. That was tracking for so long. Oh man. You used to have a purchase slow meter with like 10 hits. When you say slow meter, did that just move the bar slower, made it easier to hit exactly what you wanted? Had you burned the most edges? Yeah, I don't know. I, I My putting's been statistically very bad, which is funny because like it, it feels like the front nines, I approach well and putt well, and then the back nines have been terrible. But I think overall my puttings, my puttings, my putting stats have been like really, really bad. Like actually really bad. I want to land it, aside from the fact that I'm 12 feet left of the hole. See, Sean, but slowing the meter down wouldn't, wouldn't help my putting. I would need something that, like, I would need to pay for... In that scenario, at least, I would need to pay for, like, putt preview. I thought I hold it. I, like, really... That's... Two putts in a row that were tracking until they weren't. Oh, man. Really thought we had the right read on that one. Really thought we had the right read on that one. All right. Par five, tailwind. A little bit more to the right. Play a little baby fade. And then slow it. Oh, God. And I think I pulled it. Well, there's no shot at getting... I can't... I can't sky a, a six iron over this. Can I? I'm gonna I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for overpowering a seven to sky it. Wow. That'll play. I mean, we still got 40 feet, but to just clutch out a 109 over the tree from the rough, I... Pff, okay. Okay. Sure. That's also... Also a play that you could do. Double breaker... This round I am I 
I was bogey free until the back nine around three, and I bogeyed two in a row, and then three putted the par five right after. Had a really bad stretch. I see it double breaks, but it's. I think. I can't really tell. I don't think it's really flat for all that long. Was an interesting hole. <laughs> that was an interesting hole. That was a scrappy eagle. Wow. Missed the tee shot. 109 it over the trees. And then sink the 40 footer. What a hole. What a hole. What's going on, Bibs? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And then I do that. Where does the... I thought my draw into the wind would maybe cut a little bit more. Like in during the 9 under through 9 in round 2. It's it's going, Wayne. It's been an interesting up and down affair here. As you can see, now I'm, now I'm out in the rough and going to have a hard time of this. But uh, overall, overall we've played... We've played pretty well. Just been leaving a few too many... A few too many things out there, you know? Is that be too high up? Yeah? Not enough. Not enough of the slope. Like, look at this. Oh, man. Like, I know it's uphill in the hole, so I'm trying to, like, hit into it, but we just go long. But, I mean, at the end of the day, can't be putting myself off the fairway like this and, like, expecting to score. I'm not Seb. Maybe I am Seb. What do I know? Maybe I am. All right. Okay. 40 footer into a 29 footer. Both on both on scrambles for I I I got nothing, man. I got absolutely nothing. We're driving the green. Push slow. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it, because you get the front edge of the green and can run it back. I mean, maybe you got to overpower it a little bit. All right, everything, everything has been, has been scramble mode, scramble mode, scramble mode, scramble mode. I've been hitting them slow, so I definitely made sure not to. Which sucks because out of that lie, it, you hit it fast or hit it with any sort of angle. 
Alright. Alright, 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 alright. It's okay, we've made we've made these. Been been there, done that. We're we're on a we're on a putting putting roll right now, if you will. You can't tease me like that. Ah, oh, you can't tease me like that. <laughs> when it started to cut back right to left, I thought, oh man, did we actually, did we actually do it? Thought it was happening. All right, gotta take, take some yardage off, little bit of wind. Come on. We like tap-ins around here. We like tap-ins around here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What's going on, young bull? Alright, driver is a little bit long, but I think we just, I think we just loft our, I think we just loft our lob wedge in, and we're gonna really push it out into the rough again. Oh, the fairway accuracy on this round is looking like round one all over again. Johnny, thank you for the follow. God, everything just gets so much tougher from the rough. I tell you that much. Everything just gets so much tougher from the rough. Mm. We're gonna be a few yards long. Gonna have to try and get it to sit. That's too long. It's not gonna bite. I know it's not. I just got out of there too clean. Give me the low roll. You give me the low roll every other time. Why not? Why not there? Why not there? All right, right to left. It looks left to right. Oh God. Mix signals. Thank you, Catherine! I did a thing. Mm. I do not like this, Sam. I am. Because I can't tell where it's going. I, I know it's going down the hill. That much is clear and obvious. I just... I do get a feeling that there's right to left in it. I just... Mm. It's downhill behind. See, I see. It's left to right at my feet, but everything else about this putt. I'm just getting conflicting. I'm gonna put it just a click right. I think it. 
probably is straight. I don't know. that. I can't really tell what my swing plane had as an effect on that putt, but we'll take it. Whoa! Probably was just a straight putt. Okay. Touch up hill into wind. I think nine iron lands a little bit short on us. What's going on, Yoda? I am not from Italy, but my grandfather um, and that side of my family came over from Italy. So I rock the Italian flag. All right, I think we need just a little D loft on it. Oh, is this the, this is the tree. This is the tree that's in front, right? Do I get scared of it or? Cause I can't put enough draw on it. I think that's just gonna entice me to play a D loft on it. Push slow. I mean, that's going to keep me out of the tree line. Dang. Good, good height, but definitely not the, uh, not the swing. We're from in Italy. Uh, I believe from the, from the top of the boot Calabria area. I don't remember exactly where though. But I, I believe Calabria was part of the name. See, everything here... I get a right to left feel. I think from here I get a right to left feel as well. So I'm just gonna have to trust my gut on that. Nothing too strong, but I gotta give it just a little outside, I think. Oh, it's too much pace. Ah, oh, man, that was a really good read. That was a really good read. Could have capped off that front nine with another one. All right. So we're continuing the trend of front nines that have gone pretty well overall. Uh, tough part now is the back nine. 307, 310. I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna go for it this time. That's OB, I gotta spit through or... That's OB. I just pulled it a little bit fast. Unfortunate. But I, I don't know, I we made it on the first one, we made a birdie laying up, and then we we made bogey laying up. So I just, I'm kind of a little bit, a little bit in between thoughts on what I should, what I should do. Try to kind of just trust my, trust my swing there, is really what it comes down to. at the end of that. A little bit slow should release a little bit. That's what I was hoping for, but I think I just under hit it. Are 
right to left or big par save or bogey save yeah, Seb, like, I don't know. I've played that hole in different ways and have had varying levels of success. I, you know, I... I've gone after this hole and have had success. I've also gone after this hole and have failed. I've also tried to lay up on this hole and have... You know, I've, I've had... I've had a very mixed bag of results. But I've also had some missed inputs, so like that plays into it, you know. I've slowed this one and pulled it. That last one, I've I, you know, I fasted it there. Two birdies and an idiotic double when it was arguably playing the easiest. Yeah, like it's tough, man. I, you know, because there's definitely a benefit to driving the four if you can put it into play. But if you if you mess it up at all, like I mean you mess it up, right? So That's on a line, it's gonna be short, I think. Man, those shadows get so blurry on the approach. Everything just gets so freaking blurry. Right to left, or definitely have some work. Just didn't. Didn't break. I, I'm, I'm a little bit stumped on that. That was way straighter. That was like way, way, way straighter than than I thought. All right, I've been playing this one a little bit too much to the right. So there we go. Finally get this one with enough draw on it. Bring it back around and find fairway. Luck right out round three, simple three wood. For some reason you tried partial driver. Yeah, man, it's so tough because it's like it's a weird thing when you don't like when you know what's there, but you can't see it. And you like, you know, there's so much blind trust that goes into true sim. think this pitching wedge should chase. A little too well, actually. A little bit too well. Hmm. Interestingly enough, I know it says that it breaks left to right at the start here. Feels like it should be outside. I just gotta trust that. Gotta trust it more. Gotta trust it more. Gotta trust it more. I know that it said left to right at my feet, but everything about the way that it rolled to that point is completely counter to how I play it. Like, I don't, I don't know why I say things sometimes and then, like, don't act on it. It's like the dumbest thing I could possibly do. Oh no, fairway bounce is gonna be too much. don't necessarily love it. I know that we've got a right to lefter the whole way. 
Kind of got to pick a midpoint and then pick the break the rest of the way from there. Just didn't turn the rest of the way. 16 miles an hour right to left, so you thought a hook driver could get on the green rather than playing bunker and securing with the three wood. Yeah, and I think that might be part of my problem there, Seb, is like I look at those and I say, okay, you know, drivable green. Where maybe the play is is bunker. Hey, what's going on, Posse? That's a mean bounce. Getting the light. Five shot swing between us on 10 to 12. Yeah, like you you get through there with a ton of scoring and I yeah, I've completely completely flubbed it. Absolutely. Alright, this is gotta move, right? Well, when you Push the shot. It's gonna stick, yep. I don't know what it is, man. I get to this back nine and like, I can't, I can't do anything. It's gotta be all mental, but like, Gonna die right before the hole. Oh, the pain, the pain. You'd rather the clip than the birdie. I know, but like, so this is it just better for me to go for the front edge here? That because if I get it on the green, I'm. This is a downhill. Th Huge downhill putt, and if I get it long, like, good luck stop it. Although that pin is probably... That pin is probably friendlier than it's been. Oh, it did come back around. Lead through. Okay. That works. Downhill of the wooden plank behind the green. I took, yeah, I took driver, driver, driver layup. I, I think the two driver ones were the ones that ended up the worst because I ended up long on the down slope. So the first one with driver where I've actually like made it onto the green with something reasonable. Okay. It definitely tilts and then tilts some more. So knowing the way that that is, Come on, turn! What is that? What is that? I'll take the birdie, but like, what happened to the... The turn, it just flattened. Just absolutely flattened. Like, I'm not, I wouldn't put it out there like that if I... Thought it was gonna be like that. All right, 13 yards up a hill, is that? It's 
is going to be uh, an interesting one. All right. I'm always right on this hole. No matter what I do, I never play it out left enough, and everything seems to just drift right. Now, of course, I never make any adjustments ahead of time. I just always think that I've played it correctly and then never realize that it breaks this way until I'm watching the ball on the green, but... Seems... Fairly flat at the top, at least. But I feel like we get a little bit of right to left on it. Doesn't look like much, but boy, does it. Hit the hit the ball on the tee with the putter. I, I just, if I can hit, I, if you can hit it further than me, all the power to you. I just, I'd like to be able to hit the ball. Half decently. Mikey's at 46 under, good for him. Good for him, gives, gives Sloaner a... Uh, a number to chase. Not that Sloaner can't go 12 under on the last round here. I just, I just wish I could. I mean, I know we got that one win under our belt, but I feel like we kind of got away with one on that. Like, caught Sloaner on an off week, and that I was the best putter on tour. Other than that, I haven't, I haven't been close to the best putter. Hey, there we go. Yeah, no, absolutely, Seb. I do, I do enjoy that part of it, like being able to make mistakes and have a chance. What I, what I still hate is myself of how many mistakes I make, or not even mistakes I make, but just how many chances I can't convert. I think that's the hardest part for me is like knowing how good I am on in general on approach, and then just knowing how bad I am converting it. Get in there, Kara. The water's warm. You could you could come win some tournaments. You really wanted to. Alright, decent, decent final swing. swing it far down for a These have been really hanging out, though, to the left. Just haven't been getting the read right, right on the, on the wind. I gotta be so careful here. Because this is just one of those putts that... Really breaks. Come on. Turn. Turn. GG said. GG. Stuff, stuff. Those back nines just. Those back nines eat me up. Absolutely eat me up. Three under again. I don't know if we broke three under on the back nine in this tournament. Maybe on round one. But another another solid, respectable tourney in the books. We've got 
we've got our work cut out for us going forward, but overall, some solid work. <laughs>